guys and welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well today today we have another sit down talk sort of advice type video that i like to do at least once or twice a week and today i'll be talking about how to shop as a plus size woman or man or whatever gender you identify as so i'll be giving you some pointers some tips I wouldn't say tricks, but just some things to look out for when you are shopping as a um, plus size person. And yeah, so I'm going to get straight on into the video. And guys, if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload videos. And let's get into this video, guys. So I do have some notes down here. This is my diary, which I kind of need to stop writing all of like sort of my notes in <laughs> i do have a notebook but anyways i'll be looking at this diary down here if you do me see me glance down here um whilst editing i do have a lot of stuff in this because i was just doing filming this get ready with me i hope you guys like this look i tried i tried anyways let's not digress so um the first thing i wanted to talk about this is mainly for online shopping but i guess some of these things you can kind of cross reference to when you are out and about and shopping in public so the third thing i want to talk about is checking the size guide it's one of those things that i never could be bothered to do and just thought no i'm usually a size 16 i'm a size 16 in this i'm going to pick a size 16 and then sometimes i'd be disappointed sometimes it would fit sometimes it would fit but a lot of the time i would be disappointed and I learned the hard way that checking the size guide actually helps. So check the size guides, check what the measurements are. So check if a size 16 is so, so centimeters or whatever, because different brands have different size guides. So always check, don't assume that just because you're a size 16 in Pretty Little Thing, you'll be a size 16 in Boohoo. Always check the size guides. I mean, a lot of the time when it's like UK brands or like brands that are made in China, they might be similar, but for me to be on the safe side, especially if you need an outfit for a special occasion or you know the shipping takes ages, always check the size guide. Another thing that I've started doing recently is um, checking what size the model is wearing. So have a look. Usually it will tell you down the bottom, like at the, usually set like at the bottom of uh, the picture of the model. It will, no, not the picture of the model. Like it will have it, just before the product specifications or with just within that section it'll tell you model is wearing size 16 or whatever size she or he is wearing it will tell you what size she's wearing so if you're a similar shape if you're you feel like you're a similar size to that person that um the model a similar size to that model and then um it kind of gives you a gauge like okay if she's wearing a size 16 and i'm usually a size 16 I definitely need a size 18 or I definitely need that size 16 or I definitely need a size 20 and so on and so forth. I really, really think that helps and it has helped me a lot, especially on Shein. Shein is one of those websites that um, across their whole websites, I feel like the website, the whole website, their sizes differ. So, um, and a lot of websites are like that as well, but I feel like Shein in particular, you do have to really... Um, check the size guide on each garment because each garment is completely different even if they have stretch they still fit so differently so um look at what size the model is wearing that really really helps so next of all i want to talk about shopping plus size so i know that sounds like okay well, this is a plus size shopping video but you can go to for example um okay i don't want to use pretty little thing but okay let's just use pretty little thing even though they do have a plus size section now but before if they didn't have a if they didn't have a plus size section and it was just a bigger size then it always fits differently so for example if so if you shop just a bigger size and not actually plus size it definitely fits differently than actually shopping in a plus size section only because a lot of companies that don't actually do plus size clothing just make bigger sizes and i find that sometimes they're not tailored right sometimes they just don't look right they're just bigger as such like maybe they don't have a nice cinched in waist or i don't know i can't really explain it but it just 
fit, the clothing just fits differently. So next of all, I want to talk about product material. This one thing that I kind of still need to um, further my knowledge on because I'm still kind of um, in the learning curve of materials and stuff like that. Like I know like your basic like viscose, cotton and whatever, but I still need to kind of, I'm still, I'm just still learning when it comes on to materials. Um, and I feel like the only way you kind of learn is by checking the material when you get it. So for example, if you buy a dress today and it's made out of cotton, you know, okay, this dress that is made out of cotton, this is how it feels. There's not really much stretch. This is, you, you kind of learn it by just checking um, the garments when you buy them and then they fit or, or they don't fit. Just checking the labels, you'll see 100% cotton or you'll see, you'll see whatever it's made out of. Elastine is one of the things that I always just look at when I'm trying to shop because I know if it says it's got, 20% elastin, elastin is, that's not a lot, so just bear that in mind. Next thing that I want to talk about is if you can afford it or you do have the time to do it, order one size up or one size down if you're not sure. You will always sort of gauge that you will know that you could either be one size up or you know it might be that you could, you need your, just your size. So if you feel like you could be that in between size if you can if you can afford it because you know sometimes you can't afford to order two dresses at once that are exactly the same um so that's why i say if you can order two sizes so that you can try on both and you can always have you can always have that other option there and that also brings me to another um point that i haven't actually written down but it just came into my head now that if you've got like a special event that you're going to and that's why you're actually ordering these um a particular outfit try and order like three or four options if you can because there is nothing worse than just ordering one dress and putting all your hope into that dress the dress could be too small it could be too big it could look nothing like what it did on the website because that's another thing with online shopping so that could just be like really really irritating and disappointing so try and order a few options so that you're not disappointed okay and then another thing that i want to talk about is learning your style i mean we can all have like different we could all have different styles as as in like i could have like three styles that i like but try and learn what like your main sort of style is that you like so that when you establish that style you can actually shop for that style so if you know you love skated skirts you will go online and look okay black skate skirt red skate skirt like it will really help you out then like being stuck like oh yeah let me just try this this peplum top or let me just try this when you know like this is not usually your style or you don't know if it's your style and then you're just disappointed when it comes or you don't like it or whatever so yes so that's another thing so last but not least um i wanted to say to check online reviews youtube helps me quite a lot although i feel like when it comes onto clothes it's a bit hard to um pinpoint it so like say i find a particular dress i'm on pretty little thing and i try find a particular dress that i like it's a bit hard to like then go and type that in youtube sometimes it comes up sometimes it doesn't um whereas in if like i watch someone's haul and then i see a dress i like then it's easy to obviously see that dress someone's reviewed it and then go and find it on the website so um yeah youtube still helps sorry i lost my train of thought there youtube still helps but also I would say a lot of some websites have product reviews and a lot of them don't just because I think, you know, some people do write bad reviews and just like different things that maybe might influence um, other people's purchases and stuff like that. But if you can just try and watch um, some other videos, maybe mine. <laughs> Um, but I feel like try and hauls are really really help because then if you go like straight to a plus size a try and haul then you will know like okay yeah I like this dress that this girl tried on often the links are in a description box or just like their product descriptions like things that they've tried on for that video then you can also just go and shop and find if they have it in stock <laughs> find what they've showed you in that video and it just definitely helps and also like watching people that are a similar shape and sort of size to you also helps as well because 
they will generally wear things that might flatter your shape and size as well. This was just a quick video i don't know how long it's going to be probably not that long um i don't know if i spoke really fast um i hopefully i covered everything i mean there's probably some tips and tricks out there that i didn't cover i'm not your style guru but i do try i'm still kind of learning when it comes on to plus size because i feel like most of my life i've always strived to be skinny always always on some type of diet always losing weight and putting on weight so i often haven't been at a standstill where where I'm just kind of content with my size and the way I look and the way I feel in my body, in my skin. Um, so I'm still on that learning journey of, of, yeah, how to feel and be content in my plus size body. Um, and yeah. So guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you feel like I've missed anything, any tips that you guys could give, like, because obviously I could learn from it as well, because like I said, I'm still learning. So let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, and yeah, if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure your post notification bells are turned on so you are notified when I upload, which is every day at the moment. <laughs> every day at the moment. Um, and yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon.